for sale from Toolcrafter802 on ebay.com is one Ramsey Tool and Machine Infinity Precision Boring Head. This boring head is intended and to be used with the Sherline milling machine lathe system. It has uh, specifically been custom customized um, to fit their headstock. As a Morse taper number one, uh, arbor insert, and a three quarter sixteenths knurled lock nut with a three sixteenths Tommy bar uh, tightening hole. And the stub arbor also has quarter twenty female draw bar threads. This boring head takes three ace shank diameter uh, boring bars. One is included. It is a brand new uh, HTC um, M42 boring bar, and that slides into boring head like that. The one wrench included in this set um, also has the micrometer graduations uh, dial affixed to it, but that can be also be used to tighten the boring bar in place. Okay. I do not have a Sherline lathe or milling machine, but I happen to have a Sherline headstock. Just to demonstrate to you the installation process, um, you just insert, tighten up onto the nose piece threads, uh, use your tongue bars to complete tightening. And then for added rigidity, there is included a uh, Sherline specific draw bar, quarter 20, with the aluminum um, spindle pushing. And that will thread into the back. And everything will be tightened as such. The way Infinity Precision Boring Heads work is they actually, I believe in the either 70s or 80s, they received a patent um, on the process of their manufacturer and their dovetail for their boring heads was actually uh, wire cut, EDM cut, electric, electronic discharge machining. Um, and that makes for a very, very precise boring head. And their boring head is capable of um, um, removing one tenth thousandths of an inch off of the radius, giving the resolution to a uh, two tenths um, for the diameter. And there's a differential lead screw that, if you loosen up the slide lock, I'll show you. So rather than the Criterion style, which may have an actual lead screw with a, a physical retaining stop um, to drive the slide, this uses a differential lead screw where you have a, a screw with two different thread pitches on it, um, one to engage the boring head and one to engage the actual slide of the boring head. And what that does is um, it helps uh, when encountering backlash. Um, it also, again, helps to ensure uh, very precise, precise boring operations. So what Ramsey, uh, the instructions that are included uh, indicate is that the operator would manually adjust the boring bar to the whole diameter within a thousandth of an inch or so. And then you insert the lead screw. Try not to cross thread it. Okay, and you'll feel it engage the, the slide. 
And as soon as it engages the slide, you can use the dial, and there's a witness mark right here, and you can set to zero, and then for each graduation that you move, you're moving one ten thousandths on the radius and two ten thousandths on the diameter of the bore. Again, this, this boring head is not designed for large hogging operations. This is for your really fine, delicate work where you're looking to remove um, a whisker of material at a time. Uh, saves you from having to have a whole drawer full of reamers, different sizes, because this uh, precision head will let you um, finely uh, machine those odd sizes, bores that you need to do, um, whether it be uh, a watchmaker, um, tool maker, hobby craftsman, gunsmith, uh, what have you. So, the case uh, is does have a crack across the top of it, but it is the original case. Uh, it's missing the boring bars that came with it, but it does have the most important thing, the, the wrench with the graduated dial. And um, this is going to be offered on eBay, uh, being sold to the highest bidder. eBay auctions last for seven days, so be sure to bid early and to bid high to guarantee that you'll win on this uh, unique probably one-of-a-kind item. Thank you. Uh, obviously, it goes without mentioning that the Sherline headstock is not included in this auction. The auction is only for the Ramsey boring head, uh, including the accessories of the uh, graduated dial wrench and the Sherline specific drawbar and the new high-speed steel boring bar in the original Ramsey case. I just wanted to quickly show you how to disassemble, properly disassemble this unit. Unlike a, a normal tooling setup for the Sherline, you're not going to back out the drawbar and then pound the drawbar to knock out the tooling. This uses a uh, collar to extract the tooling via the nose piece threads. So what you do is um, locate that uh, spanner hole for the nose piece on the boring head and then loosen up your draw bolt you remove your draw bolt okay and now you take your other spanners and loosen the collar on the boring head and um, what that does is that extracts the Morse paper number one arbor from the center of the bore uh, without causing any damage to the draw bore threads or um, any damage to the boring head at all. And that's it. Thanks again for viewing. Good luck.